Everybody, Jason Shadrick here. We're in the Electro Harmonics booth, Summer Nam. We're with John, old friend John. We've done a bunch of these, and we're here to do another one, John. <laughs> now that you're feeling better after your minor surgery today. Yes, I'm feeling much better. Great. Uh, so what we're hearing on the intro there is a brand new pedal you guys brought to the show. It's not even out yet. Hasn't even been announced yet. Is that right? So we're getting kind of a first look here. The Hot Wax. So tell us about dual foot switches. Uh, Obviously, some distortion tone coloring going on there. Tell us exactly what it's all about. Yeah, the Hot Wax is two of our uh, popular overdrives in one pedal. We were talking about stacking pedals one day, and and I thought that the uh, Crayon uh, stacked well with um, a number of pedals, but um, our Hot Tubes, it stacks really well with. And, you know, they're kind of uh, opposites, where the, the Crayon is really compressed and kind of distorted, and the Hot Wax is a little more open and not compressed. Okay. So I and the hot and the the hot tubes is is you know supposed to be like a tube anyway. So it's like kind of makes sense, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. So right. um, So let's see. So so each the crayon has one foot switch, hot tubes has another foot switch and then is it the top how do they divide up the the knob controls between the sides? Right. Well, there's a um, there's a volume and drive for each side, okay. and then there's a shared bass and treble, and then there's a blend knob, which is interesting. Um, so the blend, of course, I mean, it's uh, it, the reason we put it there is because it's really good on bass. Ah. So this is also a great bass pedal, and that's what we, um, um, yeah, that's what our uh, our guy figured out, who's a bass player. <laughs> and, and that's overall dry to wet signal not between the two sides correct yeah so okay. well here let's see. Let's, we heard them, we had them both on in the intro, but let's walk through each side and then kind of combine them again. Yep. So that's the crayon side. That's the crayon side, yeah. So it can be a, a real nice, warm, but clear overdrive. So. So you can hear all the notes and. Um, and it's real easy to play on. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like it's like you can just kind of like. Oh, I just heard my lick. Oh, <laughs> Someone else yeah. is playing my lick. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it's just really easy to play on and really compressed, and it, it's uh, you can really shred on it, but everything's really clear, and it does, and you're not really using that much gain, which uh -huh. is really nice. So then, the hot tubes is really cool because you can play nice and clean. Well, that's not that clean, but let me clean it up a little bit. Demonstrate that, you know. Yeah. You know, you turn your volume down. That side seems to have a little bit of a hint of fuzziness on it too. Yeah, a little, yeah. You know. There's just like a little bit of, uh, of, of of grain when you dig in, you know. Cool. And then when you put them together, it's really fun to play because the, the 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 sound of the note will change when you hit it hard. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a tube amp. Then you can blend stuff in, so if you want to get kind of more, more layered. So you get more of a layered sound. Beautiful. Yeah. What'll be the price and availability on that, you guessing? I don't know. Okay. It's so new, I don't it's think so we've new. even... I don't, I mean, we're, you're the only people that have really seen it. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to a couple uh, new pedals, but have been announced. Yeah. Um, the platform and the tone course. Let's start with the platform over here. Okay, so the platform is like a, a studio-grade compressor and has a l full features. Um, 
It's got a hard knee and a soft knee button. It has a limiting button and it's got a whole drive section and a swell section. So I'll just take you through okay. some of the different sounds. Yep. So, um, you know, typical compressor would be sound like this. Extreme compression. But that's very, very guitar pedal like. If we turn off the knee, uh, we're not turn it off, but turn off the knee control and it's uh, more of a soft knee. It's more natural. And then if we turn off the limiter, then we get, we're not turn it off, but adjust it. Then you get a lot of compression, but none of that um, kind of squashiness. got a gain, uh, I mean a, a drive section. With a tone control and plenty of drive. So a lot of times a little bit of grit sounds good, you know, so. When you play with a band, sometimes, you know, that grit kind of disappears and it still sounds clean, but it gives you just more, kind of more glue. And then a real fun thing is we have a swell control. You add some delay to that. We can adjust that just with one control and adjust the... Uh, So is that adjusting the, the time, only the time, or does it have also affect yeah, the, the intensity of the swell? Uh, no, just the time that it swells okay. up. So let's do uh, a real, you know. <laughs> I swelled it myself. <laughs> That's what the gain on I can do clean. fun thing to yeah. do yeah so what was kind of the idea about putting a, a combining a compressor pedal with the swell function uh, what's that saying about like if you uh, like why do you climb a mountain just because it's there that's my answer <laughs> cool. all right let's move uh, next to that let's start look at the tone corset which is also a compressor it's also a compressor all analog and it has a um, uh, a blend function, which is a real cool thing. So the controls are volume, sustain, is it called? Yeah, sustain, attack, and blend. And then it has like a pad. So for your high output things, you put it, uh, let's see. Yeah, you put it up for high output and down for like single coils. Okay. And this is a real sweet sounding compressor. And then I can blend in the dry signal, so you don't really have any. Um, you're not, you know, clamped down. Yeah, yeah it's a really simple, nice um, analog compressor. Now, my last question is, what does it sound like when you turn all of these pedals on? Every single one here? Every, every, sing, every single one. It sounds glorious. <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. Really? Yeah. Really? I didn't ask for this, kids. <laughs> You, you gotta turn that one. Uh, no, you the volume. You gotta turn it up on the Operation Overlord. Oh. Top one, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 
What'd you do? You oh, broke it. Beautiful. No, that's not it. <laughs> I don't think we can uh, the beat fluid? that, I know, right? So thank you, John, again, so much. This is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com and the EHX booth. Make sure, EHX.com, right? This website, they can find EHX. out. EHX.com, yeah. So they can do this all, this experiment at home. Yeah, we usually just have little <laughs> kids doing this, but thanks a lot. Oh, that's a good way to end the show, right? It's a great way to all end right. the show. Jason Shadrick, PremierGuitar.com. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>